<laughs> oh, why does a priest exist? This is so toxic. You guys ready for a five hour run? The meme of the guy that has too many oranges in his hands but has calls in 12 when runs videos. That, that's what we should do. Easy Vizier. Ooh. You always get like enough spells for Spirit Guide, I think. I think you just take that. This could be really good. You get a lot of copy cards, but I think we take the guaranteed draw here. Ooh. Water. This used to be like the most this was the sleeper most broken card in the entire game. As far as Arena's concerned, for quite some time. I mean we take it, right? <laughs> I'm like, how much do I believe in Rivendare? Uh, not enough. Grab Radiant Elemental for our sister Spawna, we'll surely get. Uh, this is greedy, but y'all. I know Theft is really good. As far as greedy cards are concerned, it's really good. Okay, we just don't need that, right? When, dude, when's the last time I picked a Chillwind Yeti? But we already have so much value, we just need stats, right? I think we just take Yeti. Hmm, Shard is nice, but let's grab... Bominaga is just OP. Take a Faceless. That's a nice tool to have in Priest, honestly. Just grab a Psychic here. If I grab Copycat. <laughs> 12 win yeti video should i put yeti in the thumbnail 12 win yeti priest video gets an absolutely unprecedented zero views people are like oh yeti fuck that man that card's boring we need cards that are more interesting like blow up everything cards considering like the gift of the naru here but what is this card this is shadow i need holy spells like this actually seems really good right now but I guess discovering a spell from the deck should be good too. I think it's closer than normally be. Like normally it'd be a slam this. I think it's closer than normal. I'll still go for that though. I'm more afraid of aggro personally than control. Aid station's just really greasy, right? Grab holy nova. Now, okay, cool. Cannibalize is such a nuts card, man. Like, it, it, it's good in both matchups, right? Like, it's good against aggro because it heals you, and it's good against control because it's a hard removal. This card is just so, so insane. I think it flies on those radar is how fucking insane this card is. Potentially animating uh, Radiant Elemental is really good, but we're not always going to be able to do that. I think this is fine. We should take this. One drop draws all things that seem good. Grab a shower death here. So both of our death rails are premium right now. This will take it. I don't really want the other things that badly. I'll take it right. Like if I don't take this, I should take Tolvir, but I think we grab that. We do have a dragon. So I think we take this. Take the light it burns. Wait, that's... Hold up, that's the win rate of that card? <laughs> Wait, Duster actually is that much worse of a win rate than I don't need to. That's insane. It's not as bad if you look at a whole patch, but... Man, are we Greed Lords then? I guess we are. I kind of need this to try to win the value matchups too, I think. Oh, I want... Hackmail's so good. I think it's true, like, I think Drake just doesn't do enough fast enough. I think we just take back you now. I still kind of want to draw, but I feel like it's it just like, I have to take Reef Walker, there's just no way. I still kind of want to draw, but I just have to take Infected Peasant, there's no way. <laughs> I don't really need that much value, honestly. I have so much value right now. I forgot I even had a Famish Fool, actually. Yeah, I don't need value, what am I saying? Oh! I would like to inform you about our Lord and Savior, the end, who is coming. 
It's just Doomsayer, right? Like that. I'm pretty sure. I want to see the win rates on this. <laughs> it's the lowest win rate this patch. Or over the entire patch, but... Two identity thefts. Illuminate? That is tempting, actually. It's a little bit insane. I think it might be a little bit too too insane, though. Identity theft is a lot worse. I would rather play identity theft that costs zero mana that costs two cards and play three mana identity theft. Yeah, it, it's up against too good of a card. If it was up against something a bit worse, I would take it, I think. But it, it's up against like a super premium three drop. We also don't have quite enough spells to really make it consistent either, I think. It's also our first dredge, which makes me like it a bit more again, but... It's okay, because the identity thefts will steal dredges out of our opponent's decks. How was the win rate of this card? Oh my god, the Mulgam win rate of this card is insane. Current patch is 74%, but that's low sample size, but still it has like a really high Mulgam win rate over the whole expansion. Yeah, we'll keep it. Because what happens with this card is your opponent plays a taunt. If they're a class like Paladin that can't clear things through taunts typically, they play a taunt, you steal it, and you just win the game basically, right? That would be the whole idea. If he plays a Muckborn off of this, we just get a we get a 4-6. The one time you're hoping that they play Z Flory into Muckborn. But then the muck plot twist to so the muckborn generates a um a righteous defense, and then you lose anyway. <laughs> Seems okay. This is the new school version of Let Me Change Your Mind. Basically, yeah. Doesn't have as many stats, but it just literally steals anything. Okay, so do I just take the full the clear here? It's a little hard to do anything if I don't just take the clear here, it seems like. Hm. Don't mind me just high rolling out of my nuts. That seems okay. Who's the paladin now? You like divine Oh fuck, he actually had the stone born. I can steal his taunt though. If I wanted to. Do I even what did I actually get as far as like I didn't get a whole lot of holy spells, right? Light of Burns is a holy spell, I think. I didn't get a whole lot of spells, so this isn't always gonna draw two, but it often will. I wonder. That's the limiter. I have a handful of shadow spells I don't have. It's only those two uh holy, I think. We'll see. Well, let him have the opportunity to buff his guy, so then we can just deal it with Najuk. He's playing around a Najuk hex in chat. A2 mage with two guys. Nice. I'm drafting mage in 21. Yeah, what did Judge went like 30 something runs without a mage offered? It's kind of insane. Did I see what deck? This is a 80 rated priest. You tell you with the prime sub for three months. Welcome back. Welcome back. I had the 2-2 two, two die, so this isn't guaranteed to pull the, uh, it's a 50-50 to pull the 4 right now. Maybe try, right? No 
And I say fool, I meant the spirit guy. DK's in the dumpster. How is it? How is it? Did it fall that hard? Uh, it fell below Shaman, yeah. It's not in the dumpster, though. Warlock and Demon Hunter are reserved for the dumpster, but yeah. Yes! I think we found a target for our Najek. This kind of blocks the carryall, if this happened to be carryall. One month is a new set. I would expect that they're going to buff DK whenever they do the next arena adjustment, they'll probably buff Death Knight. But, because they'll probably give a lot of the discovers back. The reason Death Knight is so bad is because they don't have a lot of their discovers. They're all really low offering rate, draft offering rate. It's the next set. Yeah, the next set is going to be the core set rotation and everything. So things could change a lot there as well. In fact, he hasn't moved his mouse or anything, and he's had 50 seconds into its turn. I'm preparing. I'm preparing the button. Prepare the button. Preparing the button. Preparing the button. We hit the button. Let's find out what he has. At least we get to know what he has, right? Ooh, more Immortalized and stuff. Ooh, Brasswing. That's pretty cool. Got him. Maybe in a good month. Yo, Krillo with the Prime sub for six months. Welcome to the new badge. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Appreciate the support. Could have actually cleared. I don't think I would do that, though. If I did that in the correct order, I could have actually cleared. Hmm. This card discovers a spell which is insanely valuable and also kills at 4 drop. Do I ever... I could play Merlocula because it's probably going to do the same and then I also get to resurrect it immediately. I probably do this actually, right? This would infuse this pretty quickly, but I don't like that very much. Let's use those. I don't think we even have a macro. Right? I've got plenty of mojo to Do we have a Mac? I don't think we do. I do not see one. Okay. 
Okay, then eat a fireball. And now that bites us, because now... Light cannot exist. We're going to lose the guarantee on this now. So the thing is, it's most likely water elemental, which makes me not want to hit there. Otherwise, I would want to hit there. Turns out it's not water elemental. So it's probably objection, in which case maybe I let this get objected, even though it's a pretty high value objection, but it's better than hitting this. Maybe I should have honestly, I could have um, played this instead of this. But I don't know, getting the buff on here is pretty good too. He picked a shipping sorceress, which is that the 6 mana 3 7 over Fireball? Why can't I hold all these 12 wins? I like it, I like it. If that's a 6 mana 3 7, yeah, I, I wouldn't take that over Fireball. Fireball's really good. Burn damage is good. Can we inform him that the end is coming? We actually know that is not an objection. Let me try to get the uh, Doomsayer off. I'll suck it out, dragons. We'll take. We'll take that. The two are one. That's the one thing. If he can't kill it, he does. He at least gets to do the Sea Floor Gateway, which kind of sucks for us, but. No, savoring sources is the one drop. That and fireball, those aren't too different, I don't think, card quality wise. Shivering sources has higher win rate than fireball. They're both really good cards. Holy shit. Hmm. Burning a shooting star just to get out of hand, okay. He missed one damage. Draw more cards! This is both Hexen and Spirit Guide, right? Does Spirit Guide still draw two? Shadow, shadow. He only draws one. Which might actually be better for us. I can go ahead down, you thought. I didn't play a big spell raid. I don't think I did. Parrot. So he, uh... Wait, Parrot does copy Sunwall, right? Fuck, we have a problem then. He played Sunwall for less than five, but it still copies it, right?
We have a bit of a problem then. Do I want this for dragons that come up in the future? Or just any... I, I probably want this in the future at some point. Could you please not do the one that telegraphs fire sale, please? It's not even that good. He probably did that partially because he thought he might overdraw us. But he would not overdraw us. Got him. I'll take a 4 mana 8-8, eight, eight. that seems pretty good. It's called Well-Being well Hellraiser. This is basically a Blue Moon, but it's uh, not an alcoholic. Tastes a lot like a Blue Moon. I'd say it's a bit better than a blue moon, honestly. That was not the order for him? Uh, true. Do I want to try to get uh, like a holy nova or something? I can try. <laughs> It's a challenging question. It's like, how much do I actually want to draw? Like, because like, I don't want to draw. I kind of don't mind drawing a little bit. I don't want to draw too much. Let's see if we can get something here. Last power infusion. Do I take this? I didn't think hard enough. What what should I have done there? I wasn't like super bad, but it's just weird because our stuff was frozen, so it's like blast. Faceless okay, so doesn't make any sense. Maybe this was right. I don't know. I didn't feel like it should have been right, but I still can't find anything better than that. Maybe that was the play. I'm like, that play felt awful, but like, maybe it just wasn't. Oh, he played Blizzard, so he didn't sun well anymore. Okay. So maybe I'm a genius? I guess I'm a genius, chat. This is what we've learned. I think I'll play the Cleric and not play the uh, Fool. We have to basically choose between which of these we want to play, right? But this lets us heal this to Faceless it. I should really try to separate our things so that it's not so vulnerable to like Kona Cold and stuff. This 
Spammy, he, uh, well, I was going to say, uh, up until that point, he didn't have a four. <laughs> Spammy would have, like, killed every. Spammy would actually kill everything right now, basically. That feels good. Oh, yes, we can draw all the cards. All the cards. I don't know if I want to draw all these cards. Yeah, drawing all these cards seems questionable right now. Do I draw two cards? I don't draw any cards, right? I don't think I draw any cards. We just played this, actually. Do I want to uh, lose the game immediately? Question is, is, do I copycat now or do I wait? I don't think I'm getting a better chance to play this than now. Like, it's probably never going to do anything that great, but like... I don't know if it's ever getting better. Okay, it's definitely never getting better than that, apparently. We can get Lyra off of this, right? Oh, I didn't play a spell last turn. Yeah, indeed, Neptron. Svalna is not. Svalna is an undead. Do I just do this? It doesn't feel. Doesn't feel great, but I need to activate that world weaver. I don't need any of you. Now they have less card. Well, we're about tied. I'm. A I guess I'm half a card behind in fatigue technically, but. have this very hard decision to make let me uh, let me think about that for a little bit I'm not sure if I should hold anything back. I don't feel like a tooth holding a two three back is gonna like be that important in the value game. It could make a bigger difference in the temple game, maybe. Let the pain speak to you sure you want to play that, sir? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Hold up. He's kind of dead on tempo now. I can't really, I can't really overdraw him much, can I? Though, I, I just don't have the ability to overdraw him very much. I see him in the face then. He's drawing intentionally. I don't know if he just doesn't realize that he's going to fatigue or if he actually is just waiting for his raid boss in Ixie or whatever. I mean, it's not like a raid boss in Ixie is going to win him this game. Just 
<laughs> just... Okay, he did that play and just... You see, this is why Tempo is OP, chat. No one ever expects the turn 17 Tempo push, the timing attack that just ends the opponent. You know, people people think tempo is like an early game strategy. No, you just play things and on turn 17, they just die. I must protect the Death, lend me your power. I'm going to keep all the cards. I like these cards. <laughs> that was an attack. It, it kind of was. Because he just like didn't defend himself and then he died. He had enough of the priest. Just priest doing priest things. That was a 22 minute game. Love is just an arrangement away. Thing's kind of a problem. I probably need a kill though. I'll go for this then. Oh yeah, he reordered highest lowest and he had parrot. Now, I honestly, I didn't process any of what the chat was saying at that point, And now I understand. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. All of that makes sense now. I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot that he even did that. And I probably should pay attention. He just took two extra damage for no reason. They had Parrot Sunwall. Yeah, but he broke the Parrot Sunwall, right? That was the thing. I feel like the discount's not that important. Let's just get this guy down. Not getting the discount. HP is overrated. Life is a resource which you should uh, throw away needlessly because it's a resource, which means you just you have it, right? Seems okay. Man is a resource you want to use every turn. So you want to use up all your life as quickly as possible too. That makes sense, yeah. Woo! I think we might be winning the value game. Ready to fight for a better future? Fine. Ooh, Cathedral too, Jesus. Too many options, chat. I should get this down to try to activate this. So I feel like I do this and then... Do I use up those? Maybe I do. What is in these I have so many resources, like fuck it. I'll use up Holy Smite. Just imagine it's Holy Smite. This Druid didn't deserve this. Uh. You're, this is fake news. He definitely deserved this. Fine, I'll take that. Oh, 
I'm gonna use this too. I guess I'll just take a light bomb just in case. We're up like six cards right now. <laughs> Maybe seven. And we're up board. He has the audacity to run the legend card back while taking face damage unnecessarily. That is fair, because like constructed players should know that face damage actually matters, so that would be the one mistake they shouldn't make, right? They shouldn't just take extra face damage for the hell of it. So they do actually deserve it at that point. Alright, I just I just rip life bomb here, right? Have I had any Death Rattles die? I had Psychic die. Did I have Ectoplasm? I didn't have Ectoplasm die. I had Infected Peasant, that's also in my hand. No, so this is just a Psychic, that seems pretty cool. Oh, I had that one. Fair enough. God damn it. Freaking Reef Walker. We just die. Why is he trading off a 2 1 for no reason? Let's find out with identity theft why he's trading off a, a 2 1 for no reason. Imagine it's like a Neptulon. Then we can get two Neptulons. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, why does a priest exist? This is so toxic. This is fine, chat. We, we deserve this. I don't know why we deserve this, but um. The devs said we deserve this, so we deserve this. I'm going to order very incorrectly because I deserve this. Let's just play it. Do I just steal his minion now? <laughs> <laughs> Um, or do I buff my own minions? These are all good. It's like I have so many plays that are all winning, and it's like, which one do I even do? They're they're all winning. I should probably do shower death plus scenarius buff. Just everything wins. How do I know which play to do when everything wins? <laughs> my life is so hard. All of my plays win. Uh, my opponent is down by seven cards. We're against one of the cuties. Not one of the ones that's highest on the leaderboard, though. Hello. I bring you peace. Wait, is the minus one? Does that one not work? And that one worked. Dude, this is gonna be insane when we draw later. Surely we draw it later. Can you fuck off? <laughs> Bro! I guess I just ripped the Nova, right? You don't expect that great a value in this matchup, so you just rip it. Imaginary? Nice. He 
He's going to lose the fatigue matchup. What a fool. I think we go for this. I'm not going to trade this again. It's like I want it because it's so strong. I think I'll hold on to it. It's just we'll draw other death rattles, right? Oh yeah, the Kek L doesn't work, yeah. It wasn't he wasn't murdered by my words. That was his joke. I just I just enunciated his joke. He's at least pretending like that was a hard choice. If I want to take meaning into the hovering he did, it looked like he had a uh a primary choice and he decided to make the second best choice. So I would guess that he didn't take the best choice, but took wildfire <laughs> i should just take vast wisdom because it's the only one i want yes, that's the one. bro why would you take that one anyway i'm triggered by my opponent's bad decision making shot this is why sometimes if you just take the best one even if it's the wrong decision for them because you're just like hey maybe they maybe they don't really know what they're doing How much do I care if he draws more? I care enough, but I don't care that much. Probably don't want him to draw that fast, that much right now. I need to get these death rails out of hand. Can I play around double cross this way? A wild? Oh, it's not death point. Okay. That's fine. Sometimes you can get board cleared against a pre a mage you're, and it's not death point. You're just like, ah, I can't get death point now. Yes. You could hold the uh, the location too. That wouldn't be insane by any means. It might be better too, honestly. But I don't have big plans for it. Hold up. Arcane counterspell. Fuck me. Ah, it's always counterspell. Okay. Um. I might just burn that then. It's probably the weakest one. I mean, it's definitely the weakest one. I didn't spend all my mana, did I? It didn't trigger the spider because it was, uh, that was a weird bug because, like, it showed that it triggered the other thing. When it wouldn't have, but they didn't trigger the spider because it was counterspell. The counterspell prevents the spider from triggering because the counterspell was up. I think the counterspell has to be on top, but like since the counterspell is on top, it triggers before the spider does. I'm not sure if the order actually matters there. But when the counterspell happens, the spell doesn't go off. So that was anticipated. Spent all the mana last turn. Did I? Okay. I didn't. I don't remember. Fuck. The courage of man shall not fail. Oh, you're out. He's a bet. 
<laughs> I should just try to get the face damage and prevent a water elemental. Can you imagine if it was Visage though? <laughs> Can you stop playing Cold Case? Alright, he always just has the answer, right? We just find the answer from him. Priest doesn't have any three mana AoEs, right? I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't know chat. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Uh, watch us die to burn. We could totally die to burn, by the way. Like, we could actually just totally die to burn. <laughs> We're dead! Okay, we're not dead. <laughs> That's so BM. You did your best. Oh man, I should well played everyone with this one. Is Priest the Giga Nuts? I think this might be what we learned. I think Priest might be the Giga Nuts. Let's, uh, let's go for the coin threes here. We need the undead adventurer. The uh I think it's the stealth adventurer is the one that is undead. I think we lost chat. Our opponent's emoting us on turn two. I think we're dead. We had a good run. Let's prevent him from playing cards this turn. That are good. Fuck! This is kind of good for us, though. We get no value, but we get, like, Super Giga Omega Tempo. Ooh, Cathedral, nice. We should have pretty good tools. We don't have like optimal tools, but we have pretty good tools to deal with a uh, Paladin late, I think, so we should be okay. He didn't get super great value out of that true silver. It was okay, but... We can check his hand now if we want to. I think we do. Okay. Ah. This is garbage. That tells us that tells us that we're very likely to win this long game. And we're in the long game already, so it should be kinda of good. I could just play this now. Yeah, okay. I could hold on to it too. But the heal's not doing anything. I think it's okay to just get it done. That doesn't do anything, bro. Oh, it does get a 3-1. I forgot about that, actually. Ah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I, I, since I was going to do this, I should have uh, given him a 1-1 one, one instead of a 1-3. Not very important, though. Well, well. 
Yeah, this game's over. Next! Do I care about that? I could just cannibalize that, honestly. It's kind of a waste, though, but... Letting it kill our guys is also... Not great, so... Oh, no, no, you're right. Yeah, actually, you are totally right. Yeah, he would have gotten... Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. He would have gotten the Reef... Instead of getting the Reef Walker token, he would have gotten the 4-1. Yeah, I had to do it that way. <laughs> Even when I think I'm not a genius. Might as well just check his hand again. Ah, oh, greetings. I'll take that. Um, do I want this? <laughs> I can make this cost... Oh, I can make this cost zero. Sure, I'll take it. I'm not even worried. It's like, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, hey, if he gets, like, carry all, I'm just like, eh, it's fine. Whatever. Was priest counter a normal a normal meta just tempoing and just not letting the priest do all of the shit that we have infinite time to do? Really, you just want to kill priests before they, you know, so they're not temp comfortable to do whatever the hell they want. Because when priests do whatever whatever the hell they want, it tends to be bad for you if you're the opponent of the priest. Just as a general thing. Doesn't actually do that much, but whatever. Main neutrals. I have too many neutrals. Damn. Imagine. Go, oh, Merlocula. It was that grinning goat with the raid. What is up? Sad actor was streaming. You didn't do a uh, podcast today, did you? I was interested to hear the podcast. You doing podcasts later this week, or how's that going? I don't know. Thanks for the raid. Oh yeah, we are now Murloc Tempo Priest. This is the meta. It is Murloc Tempo Priest meta. a priest player would you mind giving out bad advice when people ask you tell them to try to mill the priest yeah you just try to give the priest more cards than they can uh, handle oh they did do a shorter life forge okay uh how dead is he he's like just giga dead right he's like even more dead now no, oh, I can steal his guy. Stealing a dude is pretty good flavor, right? This doesn't happen with... This is the one thing with priests. Like, this doesn't happen with other classes. Like, no other class do I just feel like I'm toying with my food, right? Priest has these, like, completely just dominating victories that other classes just don't have. Even Mage doesn't do this. Could have got Brasswing. I, I'm sure there was a way. Yeah, I, I like, thought. I was going to get Brasswing lethal, but then I had to, like... That it required more complicated math than I was willing to do at the moment. 
you had to figure out some clever way to actually get the Brasswing Lethal, and I just wasn't willing to do that. Because it wasn't easy to do. I'm sure it was possible, but it was not any it was actually not easy to do. And I didn't want to sit there calculating how do I get Brasswing Lethal here? They never get they never draw an acorn here, right, chat? Never, 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 never. Okay, he didn't do it. Oh god, he's basic card back. Is that good or bad for us, chat? Are we dead? He actually has a name that looks Chinese, so I think it's not in Chinese, but it's Chinese characters, so but in English, so he's probably just a uh It's probably a new account for that reason. He's in the noob pool. He wouldn't queue into us at 5-0 if he was in the noob pool. Wow. Just ripping Plotus in, okay. It was a joke. But I take all statements in Twitch chat seriously. All statements in Twitch chat are 100% serious, didn't you know? I should have done this first in case I got rush. All of these comments so serious. Exactly. That's why. How many times have you been timed out? You've only been timed out twice. What the hell? We should we should up that number. You just can't go li around lying on the internet. Exactly. Right. Holy fuck. I like that. I like that too. Okay. Dude, this card is OP. You get to high wins, and then your opponents just have nothing but broken cards, and then you just steal all the broken cards. This card is OP. Identity Theft is like the best card ever. He just tried to go face with the Rush minion chat. I was trying to defend you, say that you knew what you're doing, and then you just tried to go face with the rush minion. This was in his hand, right? So the good thing is, is that he can't actually like it doesn't value trade itself. So we're sh we're okay in theory. He got a dream. Okay, he played both dream cards. <laughs> now I steal that, right? Redeemed. I just steal that. Because again, like, the Druid of the Plains doesn't need that. That seems pretty good. good. Only off chance the game confuses Rush for Charge. True, right? Oh, he just also has a scale of Anixia. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, right? It's like, ah, my opponent's deck being literally constructed. Not that anyone would ever play True of the Plains and Constructed, but... We'll pretend like they would for the sake of baby raging. Wham. Wow. Do I let him get the uh, kill on the Druid of the Plains onto this? Maybe? What else am I doing? What else am I doing here? I could like play one of the other guys. No, I play the 7, I guess, right? Because it's actually just better here. I forgot that this thing's like a 7 mass 6 7 that I should probably just use while it's like remotely playable.
gangplank diver. Do I want to copy this? I actually have a whole lot of uh, spells. Uh, do I have too many spells? I probably do, actually. I don't know that I care if I overdraw. Wait, why does he have this many more cards than me? I don't know if I want to actually tempt fate that much. I don't want to dump this either. That's a sad thing. Yeah, I'll do this instead. Instead of this. I want these uh, spells. I know I'm giving him like the perfect target for his guy, but that's fine. So what, Shower Death, Babanaga. That would give me enough mana to do this. I could copy that if I want to, actually. Oh no, I don't have enough mana. I'm not going to worry that much about being precise right now. Let's just play things. I guess I'll just Cathedral. Cards are terrible. This costs three mana. No, this costs. Uh, this only costs one mana, right? Good morning, my beautiful cow. We're gonna overdraw out of my mind. We inform our opponent that they did their best. Priest is so toxic, man. I'm not even trying to be toxic. It's just like, hmm, how can I win this game even harder when my opponent is completely hopelessly dead? Oh no. Now we have to now we have to have a bite of our own medicine. It's fine, we'll just out priest the priest, right, surely? Yes! Got him. We played this, and since our opponent is a priest, now we're going to lose fatigue, right? We already lost. Okay, we actually lost. The fuck? The speed of that. That was like not even legal levels of insta pick. So what is? What would you even pick off of that Sunwell? Like, there's nothing in Priest you would pick over that fast over. Maybe you would pick Identity Theft. You can insta pick Deliverance. Okay, maybe we just win. He's on because the the speed that he picked it made it seem like probably an accident. Honestly, very possible accident. What's that? Thanks so follow.
Maybe he knew he had all the value and he just needed the tempo. Don't like how this is. Was I muted, by the way? I don't like how this is going right now. Another Deliverance. Maybe he just realized that Deliverance is the Giga Nuts. Or Identity Thefts. Oh, that was Identity Theft that he stole with Identity Theft. Can you fuck off? The more you struggle, the better. Ah! Thirty minute game. That's a low estimate at this point. You could probably go, like, if you have, like, 11 star bonus, you could probably just go hit Legend before this game will be over. That wouldn't even be hard. <laughs> yeah. I could faceless this, but I don't really want to, right? Light it burns. Yeah. I need to get the fuck rid of this thing. I could... Yeah, that's... I can... Oh no, I have a way to kill it. I can play this if I want to. What I have to do is Reef Walker buff the Reef Walker. I'm just going to do that first then. Because that kind of has to happen. Oh, more identity theft. Nice. And I can go Light It Burn so that I can identity theft again. I don't have hand space. I do if I do this, though. Can you fuck off animations? Don't mind if I do. Oh, this is going to be toxic. We don't know. Well, he has the creepy painting. We know he has the creepy painting. We don't know of other ways of him stealing the Stoneborn. I need to try to bait out the creepy painting, I guess. Somehow. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do that, but I need to somehow try to do that. Dude, I can't even handle all this value. Like, what the fuck? So, I think we just do this this turn just to kind of get, get one card out of our hand. That's a really high value sound, holy fuck. I can try to identity theft that if I want to.
Maragari? He discovered a dragon! You're gonna Maragari when he's discovering, so it can't be a Death Knight card, and he picked a, un, a he picked a dragon. It's a different class, and it's a, not an un, it's not a dragon, it's an undead. But yeah. Maragari, surely. Does he ever kill Nodjek if I just steal that? Surely not, right? What is in Lin's room? I don't know of him having the ability to deal. I mean, he probably can. He might have to like cannibalize it or something. He probably will, right? Do you ever cannibalize it ourselves to actually complete the steal of it? That's the real question. Probably not. I think I'm okay if he's going to use like hard removal on this. I'd be a little sadder if he had like a uh, a cleaner way to deal with it. But how does that work if he were to faceless this? If he were to faceless this, while well, we have it and it has Nogic Valkyrie on it, how would that work? I remember when the, I used to understand how things worked in this game, and now I'm just like, how the fuck does that work? I don't know. God, one of those games. I think I'd rather have death than herring. How do I even do? Let's play Yeti. Should actually heal this, right? That's very good for us. So we will overdraw. I don't really care, to be honest. That's a painful overdraw, but that's fine. So... I have Faceless, too. It's weird, because I have to, like, use removal. I can use the Holy Nova. No, I killed this off because. No, I want to. Oh, I can't do it on this order though. Ugh! However, I'll do this. Fine, good enough. There had to have been a better way to do that. I mean, we had so many ways to steal it. Like, I'm just like, I'm not even sure which one was best. He's going to steal it back is the thing, but we still have a lot of ways to steal it, right? Yeah, he's going to, like, creepy and use something with that, but that's okay, I think. Faceless and trade the copy. Because, like, faceless and trade would have been the way to play around him doing bullshit, but I don't think his bullshit's even that strong here. So, I don't know. Anyway, now we, uh, we hit this. Because I actually think it's good to get, like, a whole bunch of these on the board, because we have, like, amulet, right? So, I think it's actually helpful to us. To like do all this bullshit. Do I 
I just want to cannibalize here. I can go for an amulet if I want. With the shower death. There's pretty good odds right now, right? This is going to die, so it makes it worse. Fuck. Fine. Zero mana sun will. It's turn 12. You guys remember when it turned 12, people would be like out of cards or something? He still has identity thefts. He's going to steal our Sunwell chat. Alright, I should have informed him that he tried his best. We're going first, so surely we don't get hunted, right? Surely? Sure. Lee. I wonder if we ever keep this, because it's already a psychic on turn 5, but I think we toss it. It might be right to do it, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I didn't know. Boom! I'll play around the... Uh, I kind of play around the Hunter's Mark minion. I could have played around that by playing this, though. Easy Divine Shield. Just has a school teacher. He's using those charges up, which is actually kind of good for us. I feel like we just rip the guaranteed... This feels like a pretty much guaranteed Doomsayer if we just do this. I think we just do that. He needs silence or... Attack health swap. Otherwise, like, there's just no way this gets denied, I think. He could have... You wouldn't need that much damage plus a uh, one damage plus a deadly shot would do it too. But we'd be getting like premium removal out of him, so that would also be worth it. This is exactly why like Doomsayer is like super busted. It has a horrible win rate, but like this card is like super super busted. Like this is just like what the fuck is he supposed to do, right? Unless he has like one of the very specific answers. And it's not like we're losing that hard if he does, right? I just don't abuse Doomsayer that hard because I usually don't play that kind of deck. But if you play that kind of deck, it's like holy fuck, this card is open. This card is so broken. Now the question becomes is if we can actually win off of this advantage. I don't really want to play this. Why is the coin in hand at this point? So I guess we'll go for this. He really is a value hunter, we're pretty happy. I 
You made one pound of bacon, we can't eat it all? I will eat a full pound of bacon right now. So I could steal that. It's actually kind of decent. I think I'll take that. I, I was actually choosing to do it before I even realized I also actually had the discount relevant as well. <laughs> I was like, getting the two man discount, that's also pretty good. Trying to bulk up so you eat the bacon more chewy. Honestly, if you're trying to bulk up, it's probably better to eat. It's probably better to eat it leaner and just eat more of it. But you can also just eat the fatty bacon. That's more expensive. Yeah, and that is true. This works, right? Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah. Alright, that's fine. I think I just take Nova here. Take that. I'll take. Is that good? I'll take that instead. I should not run that that close, but okay. I was a little too indecisive there, but this is okay. Because I'm oh, not sure. There should have been. I think there was a better play there, but I could have played the another Korak and Bunker Sergeanted. Which is probably, that was probably what I should have done. I probably should have played the second core arc. And Bunker Sergeant to trade it off my existing board. Not use the Holy Nova. Left him with like a 2-1 I think. But then I would have two core acts on board. And then what the fuck is he going to do, right? At the same time, he had an infect. We know he had an infectious school on hand. So it was pretty good to full clear him at the same time. So, yeah. I don't know. What we do is we want a Korak that has the Infectious School effect on it, and then we Faceless it, right? That's what we really want to do. Heh! <laughs> Nice honorable kill, bro. It'd be a shame if your honorable kill became dishonorable. Just tell him uh, good fucking luck with all of this. We even played him in the right order. So even if he has collateral damage, I'm pretty sure this respawns first, right? So it, we even get the death rattle on the other guy. So. Say eat Canadian bacon. We're trying to bulk up. Is that, can you inform me? Like I've never looked this up. Why? I, I don't know. Why I've never googled this. What the hell is the difference between Canadian bacon and ham? Can someone explain? What is the difference?
country or origin. So there's no difference. That's what you're saying. One has more syllables. So th yeah, <laughs> so, so there's no difference. Okay. Because I didn't know what the difference was, so I guess there is no difference. So I just block this, I guess, because none of the other shit matters, I guess. In case he just happens to draw the combo. Canadian bacon comes from the back. Okay, so it's like ham, but from the back of the pig. I see. Is that what it actually is? What's up, Gateway? Aerolon or Hydrolodon? Uh, yes. There's no wrong pick there. That might be at the point where... It... <laughs> They're close enough that you probably go based off of Synergy. I would think. So, like, it, you could probably go either way just based off which one you think fits better in your deck. I think they are legitimately close enough. Because I think they are pretty close. I've never had an Aerolon. I've actually never had an Aerolon in this meta, so... Dire Frenzy. I've never Dire Frenzy to Hydrolodon. That would be pretty hilarious, though. The thing is, is if Hydrolodon doesn't die, you already won. So there's actually just no reason you would ever actually need to Dire Frenzy a Hydrolodon. There's actually a very close to 0% chance you ever would need to do that. It's not zero, I guess. If someone Blizzard Doomsayers you, how does that work actually? Blizzard freezes after the damage now, so it's like it's kind of weird, but. So I'm not even sure actually how that works. Because it, it freezes after the damage gets dealt, right? Actually, I don't even know. Alright, so we got the board control. No, oh, no, my secrets got copied. Got him. We have pretty damn good board control all of a sudden. It's almost like Doomsayer is fucking insanely broken. Doomsayer, best card in the game. Confirmed. After Explosive Sheep? Okay. I, I don't know if I'm going to go that far. Uh, we're going to draw value, right? Surely. Value? We've been like massively upvaluing everyone. We're, we're gonna find value at some point. Amulet's already two. I had Reef Walker die, I had Ectoplasm die. So I mean, we'll keep that right and we'll. Uh, potentially have the Bogby Star too. I will never, but you shall. <laughs> Just a 
Harden six steal of that. How do you even have that many minions die? What the fuck? We had an opening hand Sylvanas, so he wins the game automatically. Cool. That was fun. That was a game of Hearthstone. As much as I've done a lot of bullshit things to people in this run, nothing I did was nearly as bullshit as that was. If I had a great Nodic Hex, then that wouldn't be true, but I never really got a good Nodic Hex in, in this run. Not yet. Fuck! I'm literally, I'm literally favored in this matchup, I'm pretty sure, but I just don't want to play it. <laughs> it's not a random letter account, no. Hundred, yeah, I don't know. Like he was two and two on his twenty eighth run, and then he hasn't played since. I'm not sure. I'm I'm assuming that things just came up and is came things came up for him or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. Can't play that kind of. The thing was, is like, he's not like, he's not the type to, because I honestly think like, he's not the type to just stream every day. And he was streaming every day for a very long time. I think I'm guessing he kind of burned himself out, but I don't know. You know, I don't know anything about that. Because, you know, I don't stream every day because if I tried streaming every day, I'd burn myself out in a week too. You know, like. Because I get all the draw I need here, right? That might be a steal here. So I could try to steal that here. I don't know if that's really worth it to be honest though. Start stealing his shit. Oh. Oh. 
I should have done something different here, probably, but I, I kind of lost my um, opportunity. It's fine. Oh, no. Joke's on you, my deck isn't as good as yours. Dude, what is this game gonna be? Oh, that was the worst card I had down there. Nice. Cause he didn't have anything to answer that from what we saw. So I think we try. I don't have like I mean it's like I don't know if this is getting any better any time in the future, right? There's a chance he stole our Najak, actually. Probably not what he needed. Okay. He activates that, but he loses his entire board. Fine. Like, a one-man Colossal doesn't win the game here, right? He just... We might get his one man colossal. He didn't kill it, but like we still have a, he has a snap dragon. Oh my god. Uh, we'll try to steal it, I guess. Another Ashara, I guess. All right, fine. Uh, more Vizier, I guess. One here could be insane too. I think this is better on average. I need one more spell for this. I don't have a spell. It's kind of bad. You can get a spell. do I even do? I could like kill off a bunch of his things and then steal this guy. I can't actually kill off a bunch of his guys though. I go for one of these two, right? That's fine. What do I do, though? I get another Colossal, right? I could steal this, too? get a spell it's probably not better than a colossal it might be though i think it is better actually kills a lot
Oh, so close. Wasn't the play accusation in Ashara? That was way too complicated for me to figure out in that short amount of time. Might have been. So Sergeant pretty much deals with all the threats. Neptulin is a thing. The thing we have to worry about with Neptulin, like Neptulin totally works, but it's just do we want to play into whatever the hell he could do to Neptulin us back? You know, that's the concern. And I feel like maybe we want to be the second Neptulon rather than the first. So if I can do another play, I would rather do that. So I think I'm going to go for this. Because I think we have enough health that we're fine. We get to use basically all of the weak cards while they actually kind of contribute. And now he plays Neptulon. We might just die to this though. Napped on this turn is really scary. Just had to also top deck that on 10. Yeah, it's true. If you steal this, you kill the hands. Yeah, yeah, we should do that, right? Maybe I should bone color here, but I'll get this down. I just die. Can try to draw. Very good chance we hit shower death if I draw here. I think we tried that. Did not hit it. Not a spirit guide either. I'm gonna go for the heal over the taunt. I don't want to die to removal. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. And the perfect answer to our colossal. He had all of his colossals that were all perfect for their situation. Man. Yeah, play the bone call in that one turn, probably. That was probably it. Because he hit us for like, what, eight or something? Because I didn't play the bone caller that one turn.
the accusation play on that one turn. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's too hard to figure out. It, it, I mean, it's like, I mean, the takeaway from that game, I'm pretty sure we won the game if we played optimally. It's a, it's like a lot of games. Like, I'm pretty sure we 100% won if we played optimally, but we didn't. So I don't know where the lo where the, we lost it exactly, but I'm pretty sure we just didn't play it perfectly. So we lost. It's a lot of games that are like that now. You have to play 100% perfectly or else you lose. I want to save this because it's a psychic right now. Got something to hide. Because it's, it's one of the things that, like, you know, like, you just have to accept, like, if you're a high win average player, like, you just have to accept, like, a lot of people would get, like, upset, be like, oh, my opponent had everything, but it's like, you just have to accept if you're a high win average player, like, you, you need to do everything perfectly. Your opponent doesn't need to do everything perfectly, but if you want to be the seven win average player, you have to do everything perfectly. Your opponent doesn't have to. They're just the person that high rolled and queued into you. You have to do everything perfectly. That's just how it is. You know? They can make mistakes and still win. You usually cannot. Perfect, okay. So we picked the clear to answer this. Because if we took the wrong discover, this is a great example, right? If we took the wrong discover choice, we would have lost this game automatically. You have to make every decision basically correctly or else you have no chance once you're past like four wins. So he's a paladin, so I can pretty much, I can pretty safely steal the taunt, right? Pretty low chance he can kill it. That's a blessed goods. I think that would screw that. So I should be able to just steal his taunt and be pretty happy. Bone collar, what resummons power of chill and Yeti. We don't play Yeti when we have this. I was thinking it's like, maybe I Naga this, but he does have the buckler, which will give it a buff. So this might just be better anyway. So I think we just remove that.
Double jerry duty. Eh. He just kill himself. <laughs> he totally just killed himself. But... Hmm. Okay. Alright. Fine! Nice board, bro. It'd be a shame if you had zero health. Appreciate everyone being here, hanging out. We'll be right back in a minute. Why do I have to insta queue when I'm about to piss? And it's a priest mirror. Literally everything is a disaster, chat. Actually everything. Uh, this will work out right good. I don't know, he's also an amulet trader. We lost! Jokes on you, my deck might be inferior to yours? Question mark? Maybe? Okay, that's really bad. I don't have an answer to that. It's not like there is an answer to that, period, but... I also I very much do not have an answer to that. Hmm. If there's going to be an answer, it's got to be drawing more cards, right? Maybe killing this off so you can't reborn it again would be an option, though. Insanely good uh, bunker sergeant, I guess. The one nice thing is, like, we don't have any insane, like, colossals or any insane wind conditions that he could even steal, right? So, you know, the scariest thing for him to steal would be our identity theft. He's playing an operative not active. Wow. Okay. Seems worth a shower death. I think I'll just play this. Could have played identity theft as well. Is that kind of game okay? I can steal that maybe. I probably try to steal it when he has a smaller hand size, or I don't need to steal it immediately. So like give him the opportunity to maybe dump out the rest of his hand before we try to steal it with identity theft. We have two shots at the at it, two identity thefts in the deck. Playing one already. Seems extremely weak. And the four draw, yeah, yeah, the the dragon and potentially the uh, that's true, the amulet also. What's really funny is that um, you know, only, you only need to steal it once. There's a chance, there's a real risk that we steal it more times than we want to. Because stealing it once is really good, but stealing it more than once is actually really bad.
I was like not sure if I wanted to use that. I think we I think we use it there. I should have drawn first, obviously, but you know. Or basically, I don't actually ex we might kill him. It's very possible we kill him, but like I don't expect to, but we want to put pressure on him to force him to just use resources he doesn't want to use here. That's a better resource than I wanted him to have. That was the discover last turn. No, we forced him out. We forced the shower death out of him. That's what we wanted. See what we get here. One mana aid station. Let's make our shit hard to deal with. I don't really need clears, right? I guess. I don't really need clears, he said. It'd be a shame if I had access to Whirlpool or something. I didn't take it. Do I just do this here? I think I do. His minions kind of board lock him here. Makes it kind of interesting. He can't really trade anything off. Got another one, death. We're kind of fucked, but he okay, didn't. I try to steal that, I guess. Okay. No way, bros, if things will follow. That's well, not a problem. I'll still, at some point, I'll try to steal that vision, but I don't need to really go for it while I have, like, other options, right? I may, I may want to do it just to look for lethal, though. Hmm. 
So now might be the time for the first one. We have other shots at it, right? This is still really good, actually. Murloc tempo. We are tempo priests, but where's our where are Murlocs? Oh, a vision darkness. Greetings. Found one. Murlocula. Oh yeah, it's still in our hand though. <laughs> the thing that's funny is like there's a solid chance we lose because we just never randomly generated it, but we randomly generated it, so. Got him! I'll just still lose somehow. <laughs> well, that was a good overdraw. Holy fuck, I didn't want that card. Got him! I wonder. Let's try hit the lethal. Didn't hit the lethal chat, damn it. Disaster. I was hoping I had to void shark. Oh, it doesn't work? Oh, that's how that works? No. Oh. I didn't know how that, that's how that works. We'll just hit it now, right? Dude, you see how skillful this game is? You see how skilled we are? This game is just 100% skill. It, this is like how when you're going fishing, you know how you're going fishing, you put the first fish back? This is the exact same thing. You're just like, yo, I, I have all of these fish, and I'm just, I just put the first one back, and then we just know. We 100% did this un intentionally. Because we just wanted to give the first one back. I think I want this actually. It's actually interesting. I, I didn't actually know how that works. So it's like when the thing, the thing always takes its same slot. So it doesn't, when you have a full hand, it doesn't actually replace one. That's interesting. Important to know, actually. Because to be honest, I hadn't even thought about that. Right away. I lead from the trap. Let's do this so he doesn't actually get the honorable kill. This game's over, right? <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, it's, okay. it's gonna keep trying, but... He's gonna keep trying to smork her, smork her ass. Light cannot exist. Watch us just die on tempo. If we die on tempo anyway, that'd be insane, actually. It's totally possible. What do we need for this? Fuck, we still need three more. The strong flourish 
Oh, we are fucking dead. I really need to get this down, but it's just not good enough yet. Should I have? Maybe I should have done this instead. Yeah, it's like that was the other play I could have done is I could have done Reef Walker plus Plot of Sin, which is probably better, actually. God, this is so rude. And then what, we just play Plotus in? Oh, for Bone Collar? We do it, we do the Bone Collar next turn, right? And we just hold on to this, I guess. Should be okay, I guess. Yeah, I play this game horribly, but surely it'll be okay. We have the Najak in hand, so it's like at some point he'll probably play something weak to that. He didn't play the best in Shell, which would have won us the game. We still have a lot of health, so but like we should be fine in theory. Need one more infuse for that. No, I didn't consider that possibility. Freaking uh, pack mule. Wait, what do we lose? We lost something. It didn't matter, right? Yeah, Octoplasm, that's fun. We're gonna lose more cards here, but like, yeah, I don't think it actually matters. We actually didn't even have a we didn't have a holy spell to draw. It's also not that helps, I guess. So it would be a luxury I could try to see I could see his whole hand here. I don't really need to, I don't think. I'm gonna just do this. I probably should have played this first, but I mean, he's pretty. Uh, he's just pretty dead, right? He goes for the top deck puzzle box. 
Theft doesn't get better. No, like I, I could I could theft there, but it's like I should just do every I feel like I should just do everything I can for tempo on that turn. I'll have to uh, theft as soon as I can though. Another scale. It's probably the reason I liked this is because like I just get like a board that a bunch of odd numbers to make scale awkward, right? And I'll theft this turn, probably. Well, he has nothing, so... He's like, haha, I silenced your card, which doesn't do anything because my hand sucks anyway. Mage! How does he usually go for? His streams are usually like six hours or so. I think. I haven't faced a mage in, long, in a while. Trade away this uh, amulet to try and make it better later. It'd be kind of okay right now, frankly, but try to make it better. Okay, coin copycat. He probably might quote unquote counter it by playing adventure, but that'd be fine. We got Stealth Adventure, nice. It's an undead, it activates our undead synergies. Actually relevant. If he's a Tempo Mage, I feel pretty good. It feels like he's a tempo mage right now. It's a kind of weak turn by us, but it's like... I, I don't want to just completely pass by playing identity theft, so... I think we have enough undeads that we should probably wait until Vizier actually uh, works with that, so... Seems okay. Alright, we get the Spirit Guide down. Really good uh, matchup right into his 3-5 here, so he has to use some kind of removal here. Nah, silence removal, we still get the draw, so that's really good. Because that's all we... We're forcing the removal, right? We expect the removal, we just don't want him to, like... If he had, like, life sentence, we'd be a little sad. Probably. So rather pivotal turn. So it's like, he didn't life sentence our last guy, so we can kind of assume that he doesn't have it and play this. If he did just happen to have it and not play it last turn, would be kind of fucked, though. But I doubt that's the case. I think it's okay. Graham and Druid X, thanks for the follows. Any sane person would have life sentenced, right? He could have just drawn it imme immediately afterwards, but like, there's no person that would not life sentence that, I would think. Water. There's not even like someone being a good or bad player or anything. There's just like, there's no way anyone wouldn't have done that if they had the option. 
I could use all my removal here, but I don't know if it's necessary or valid or worth enough. I could also try to find a spell that would do more or try to find something from his hand that would do more. I think it's worth using the removal here. I could have done this. Maybe I sh I didn't really think about it, but like I could have used the radio mental on this turn too, which would have given me extra mana. But I couldn't really do it. I would have um, I would have just gotten this down, and that the the net result was I would have just had this on the board at the end, which is fine, I guess. Not that big of a difference, honestly. That was probably I, that was probably what I should have done. From the shadows. I need value. There's gonna be some kind of bullshit that comes in. Maybe, I mean, Tempo Mage might just be really good, but also I'm having trouble believing. Like, his deck does, doesn't seem good right now. He's gonna have something broken in this deck. I wasn't wrong. Are we Murloc Tempo Priest? His fireball in hand? Yeah, that is that is accurate, so he just kills it. I could force him to use it though. Let's try to wait on it. He has a flame strike. We're both just sitting on one mana. Colossals, like, yeah, you want to do it first, bro? Oh, you're right. I can silence my own Gigafin. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So you silence this guy. Yeah, we don't do it now, right? We hold on to it, but yeah, that's a very smart thing to do. Let's get a spell out of our deck here. Amulet's really good too. It might be better actually. I mean this is these are both insane. They're both just insanely good here.
Maybe expecting him that he would have played the uh, thing. Maybe I should have taken the uh, other guy though. But yeah, now we just go Giga Fin Silence. And now I'd be a noob and I silence the Maw instead of uh, this guy. I I might be crazy. You silence the main one. I mean, I'm, I say I might be crazy, but I'm definitely crazy. Take a Deathborn, I guess. Is he here? Sure. Is he trolling himself? Exactly. This is what we edit out of the YouTube video, so no one no one understands what I, the stupid things I was implying would work. You think we knew? This is the thing is that I wasn't thinking about it because I was thinking about other things. Was one of the flames like it was actually in hand too? Okay, that's a problem. I think it's okay if we do this right. Like it's kind of bad to use all this right here, but <laughs> I need some canned fish. I haven't had any canned fish in a very long time either, actually. Here's the street sweeper. Okay, that discounts our vizier. Theft accusation or thrive. What is thrive? Thrive can give us. Fuck, we don't have any theft yet. Left. We have a sunken ritual though. Probably better than anything we can get. Or amulet. Am I looking to get thin? It can, yeah. We're going to just get outvalued here. How many pairs does he have? He still has another flame strike, by the way. Fireball. We're like super losing fatigue, which is actually really bad for us. So it's like if I steal his uh, taunt, he just fireballs my Najek. Yeah, I could silence two. I could get two three sevens. Oh yeah, you could silence this guy too, but that's yeah, that's not worth it. You would rather silence. You would rather silence the uh, the enemy minion. We'll copy his guy here. Look, we don't know what's the bomb, do we? We need to, like, trade our amulet more. To get more death rolls off of it. Might just have to go for this here. 
Do I want to draw more is the question. I have Cathedral down there too. Yeah, our whole deck is useless. I did, right? Like, I have to do this probably. We can't win, right? Like, we have no threats. We have just zero threats. Yeah, we have Amulet, I guess. But, like, we have to force out... He still has one more board clear, right? Nothing Mars. I didn't play this game well, but like we could have never won this game, I'm pretty sure, right? Like there was no way. We'll see, I guess. Does he have? Is Deathborn help him? He Deathborns us, but now we Deathborn him. He doesn't know about that. Him in the face. Play Ectoplasm and Deathborn, right? board space did i lose a board space location you can't really fatigue yourself i don't think Welcome to the fact that Deathborn is a fucking stupid card. We played this game terribly, but we got to 12 wins, didn't matter. Because Deathborn is dumb. Even when you're the priest, Deathborn is totally dumb. And if you watch this on YouTube, another 12 win priest. We literally can't hold all these 12s. How am I supposed to edit all these 12 win runs? <laughs> uh.
Uh, that puts us up to like a seven. Po Does that put us to seven point six? Wait, that puts us up to seven point nine over fourteen. Don't we're cracked. Our NA average is gonna be our EU average. Keck wait. Hey, right, we did it, chat. Turns out having uh, absolutely no late game and just stealing your opponent's late game is really good. That's what we've learned. And watch this on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, all those things. We got all the gold. Holy shit, all of the gold. 480, something like that. It's actually somewhat low for an all gold reward, but not bad. Got him. Bye-bye, right, YouTube.